The main goal of this lesson is to learn how much interest was paid when someone paid off a loan. This video is going to be breaking, broken down to three parts, question A, question B and question C. Let's start with question A. So we have a person who takes out a loan of 150,000 Rand. So we know that we're going to have to use the present value formula. And we can see that the loan amount is 150,000 Rand. So we can say 150,000 equals to, now the monthly payment we don't know, that's what we're trying to calculate. The interest rate is 12%, compounded monthly, and it's four years, so four times 12 is 48. There's nothing challenging with that, that's just a straightforward present value calculation. And if you go work that out, you're going to get that x is equal to 3950.08, and that would be in rands. Question B says, determine the balance outstanding after two years. Now guys, I have videos on balance outstanding. What's important is that you realize is that with balance outstanding, there are two ways to do it. You can use the present value method or the future value method. In this lesson, I'm going to do both methods. So you can just fast forward to the method that suits you the best. I'm going to start off with the present value method. So to work out the balance outstanding using the present value method, it's really easy. You just use the present value formula and for the place of N, you look at how many years do you still have to pay. So in this question, we've got a four year question and they want to know the balance outstanding after two years. So that means there are still two years that are coming up. So we will use two years for the place of N. So that's going to give us 3950.08. So that's going to be two years, which is going to be 24. And that gives us 83,913.08 cents. So that is how much money this person still owes after two years. The future value method requires two steps. Number one, you need to know how much does the loan become. And you do that using the A equals to P formula from grade 11. Actually, we don't want to bracket in the front there. And then number two, you also need to know how much do my payments become? Or how much did my payments become? How much did my payments become? And for that, you use the future value method. So let's see how much that loan would become after two years. So what we do is we say 150,000. And then we say one plus, and then the interest rate is 12%, compounded monthly for two years. So that would be 24 months. And so that's going to give 190,460.20. So that is what the loan is worth after two years. Now, we also need to know how much did my payments become after two years. So we're going to use the future value formula. And so we know that our monthly payment is 3950.08 and then the interest rate we said was 12% over 12 for two years that's 24 over 0.12 over 12 and that's going to give 106547.34 rand so now your loan has grown up to this amount your payments that you've made back to the bank is equal to that amount. So if we minus those two, that'll be how much you still owe the bank. So that'll be your outstanding balance. So it'll be 190460.20 minus 106547.34. And that gives us 83912.86. Now when we did the when I did the present value method, I got a little bit of a different answer. I was about 20 cents uh different or there was a difference of about 20 cents that's typically just due to rounding errors in the two different methods so i'm just going to stick to the present value answer that i got so we've worked out the monthly payment we've worked out the balance outstanding and now in question c how much interest was paid in the first two years so guys this is really really interesting even in real life one day when you take out a loan this is really interesting to calculate so this person has paid back the bank 3,950 Rand every single month for two years. How much would that be? So let's go. Person paid back. 
And all I'm going to do, I'm going to say 3950.08 times by 24. And that gives us 94,801.92. Okay, so that's how much money this person has paid back. They physically paid that out of their wallet over two years. Now, we want to see by how much has the loan decreased. So the loan in the beginning, the loan was worth 150,000 Rand. After two years, how much do we still owe the bank? Well, that's the balance outstanding. So we still have an outstanding balance of 83,913.08. So how much has the loan gone down by? Well, so we can say loan has decreased by and then we'd simply say 150,000 minus what it's currently worth. And that's going to tell us that the loan has gone down by 83. Oh no, <laughs> so I'm just typing on my calculator. The loan has gone down by 66,086 Rand and 92 cents. Guys, now this part you need to understand. This person has physically paid back this amount of money from their bank or from their wallet. They paid back 94,000 Rand in a two year period. However, their loan has only gone down by 66,000 Rand. How can this be? Surely, if you pay back the bank 94,000 Rand, then that means your loan should go down by 94,000 Rand. Ah, but that would be if there was no such thing as interest. So, the person has paid back 94,000 Rand, but the loan only went down by 66,000 Rand. So where did the other, I don't know, 28,000 or 30,000 Rand go? That is interest. It's almost like that money has disappeared. It hasn't disappeared. It's because of the interest. And this is how banks make their money. So the amount of interest is going to be 94,801 Rand 0.92 minus 66,086.92. And that's going to give us a value. Oh, it rounds off perfectly. 28,715 Rand. That is how much interest this person has paid over a two-year period.